Hey everybody, this is Hoover with Cryptic Technology. I was uh, <clears throat> just watching some of the new E3 releases and the uh, the new Xbox X that was released. Was uh, kind of curious about some of the things that were were stated at the at the conference by Microsoft. Um, they were talking about how it's you know the most powerful console for the Xbox One X and uh, and such and it looks like a really powerful console and, and it looks like it has a lot of good possibilities the only thing that bugged me the most was the fact of they had stated it's our smallest Xbox ever and they didn't compare it to anything they didn't show a picture next to the other consoles they didn't state dimensions anything they just stated well it's our smallest and then they kind of glanced over that so it kind of made me curious, how much smaller? Because, I mean, smaller than the One S would be pretty cool, because the One S is only 40% smaller than the standard Xbox One. So I started looking into it, and uh, comparing dimensions and such, technically the Xbox One S is it's shorter, like say, in length and width. Now the height they're pretty close but the one X the new one is actually 0.1 inches shorter than the one S so it kinda made me think if it's longer and wider but shorter does the 0.1 inch shorter make it smaller cuz I mean honestly I got to talking about this with with uh, some, a few people and and really we started discussing it as okay so that's like comparing say a giraffe and an elephant and saying the elephant is smaller because it's shorter because I mean it it's even the Xbox One X is actually even two pounds heavier than the One S so I mean I it's not a big deal but it, it just seems kind of odd that they state that it's their smallest ever when technically the only thing that's smaller is height and that's by 0.1 inches now I'm gonna show a, a few a few uh, clips here they actually show uh, CNET had these pictures on their website and uh, I got to looking and, and it does kind of validate what I found is if you look they line up the back corners and one side of the two Xboxes the One S and the One X and if you look the One X actually hangs over a little bit on both the uh, the width and the length but when you look at them they, it is actually shorter I mean it's it's a slight slight difference but still I'm I'm just not I guess my my worry here is they're you know just throwing out things and I hate to know that you know that we're missing something or or something like that but because they're not stating anything and not showing you a comparison without physically being there at say E3 and, and able to stack the two together or look at them side by side it'd be tough to just say oh yeah it's the smallest that's cool when honestly if say I have a shelf that just fits my 1S it may overhang with my 1X if you know if I decide to go that route now I will say you know the performance they show looks amazing uh, it is going to be true 4k uh, a lot of games that they've stated have been 60 frames a second a lot of people are throwing up hate about that with PCs and, and everything but yes honestly as a console focused item that's an amazing feat 4k at 60 frames a second that's for a console that's that's awesome 
And I'll give a shout out to Digital Foundry. They they actually put it through its paces, and they were showing true numbers where the uh, Xbox One X, and at the time called Project Scorpio, they have a video where they were showing it was doing 4K at 60 frames a second with Forza Horizon, and it still had plenty of GPU left and CPU power to go further. So it wasn't really hurting the system to do that. So actually that's a pretty pretty amazing feat for a console. Now the other concern I have is okay, yes it it is five hundred dollars. They announced it at four ninety nine price range. But now most people who have a like say an Xbox One or an Xbox One S may not have a 4K TV. And so it is nice that it does uh, what they called super sampling, which will bring it down to just a higher resolution 1080p or a more efficient 1080p. So that'll be great. But it's just kind of one of those things you have to think about when you go to purchase a, say, one of these new consoles is, you know, what kind of investment do I need to put into this and to really get the, the highest performance out of it? But then also, will my 4K TV keep up with it? Because there are some 4K TVs out there that won't do 60 hertz, which is the 60 frames per second. So you could still get you know poor performance through your TV, but yet still have the 4K. But you'll get screen tearing, you'll get tiling, you'll get you know dropped frames, things like that. So that that is something to keep an eye out for. Uh, most of the time it can be fixed if, if the 4K TV has a video game mode. Usually that will try and sync it up and, it, and they'll, they'll go. A lot of them are pretty, pretty high. Like the one I have is actually going up to about 120 hertz. Uh, they say it's 240. It's an LG with their, some of their software processing, but it does at least 120 hertz. So I feel comfortable with, with going with that 4K. HDR 60 frames a second you know but if you do look for a cheaper 4k TV so you can play some of these newer 4k games and, and get the full experience you do want to keep an eye out for that 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 is something to to consider so if you do find a cheaper TV just make sure that it can go into that game mode um, other than that that's really the only can concern I wanted to bring up and and the only thing I wanted to point out about the Xbox One X was just the fact of it, it it kind of bugged me that they said it's the smallest console they've ever made but never threw out any dimensions or anything to really tell you how much smaller because when they came out with the One S they emphasized it is smaller it's 40 percent smaller they even pull out a graphic that showed that it was so much smaller and then they said, and the power block brick is inside, which was even more impressive that they put the power inside and made it 40% smaller. But in this case, they stated, well, this one's even smaller. And really 0.1 inch shorter, to me, that's not smaller. I mean, it's wider, it's longer, and it's heavier. So... I'm not seeing how that is smaller. But I just want to put that out there. Something that was just kind of bugging me and and everything. I did tweet to Phil Spencer and everything with uh, Xbox. And we'll see what they come back with. But until then, uh, thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, please leave a comment. Click the thumbs up and, and subscribe. Have a nice evening and enjoy E3.